Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again today. In today's video, I'm going to give you eight, yes, eight dump and go meals that you can dump into your crock pot or your instant pot and have dinner ready to go. So I do realize that during this time, guys, we're fixing breakfast, we're making lunch and dinner. And let's just be honest it gets to be a lot, all right? Now, I'll be honest and tell you that these meals are gonna take some preparation beforehand on the front end, but after you're done with it, you're gonna be glad that you did it because all you have to do is go into the freezer, get out your bag, stick everything into the crock pot, and let it cook, all right? And I'm all about making life easier for myself and for you. But first, before we jump in, today's video is in collaboration with Jennifer over at I Love Lunches. Guys, after you watch my video, you're definitely gonna wanna head over to Jennifer's channel. She has some of the most creative lunch ideas that you can prepare for your kids at home or while they're going to school. She also does cleaning videos, what's for dinner videos. Guys, she is absolutely amazing and she's one of the sweetest souls here on YouTube. So after you watch my video, go down to the description box and I'll have a link to Jennifer's channel down below. When you go over to her channel, definitely let her know that I sent you. All right, y'all, so let's get to this. So the way that we're going to prepare eight meals is double up on four meals, okay? So what that means is we're only going to create four meals, but you'll make two of each of those meals. Now, the idea is definitely for you not to cook the same thing every day, but it'll give you a little leeway when you're trying to figure out what you guys are gonna eat for dinner, okay? You can definitely mix them up. If you're like me, I try to cook enough to where each meal will last me at least two days. So that's two days of dinner that I don't have to worry about. And then the next day I can bring in one of the other four meals, all right? So let's go on and get started. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna make sure that you get is the freezer bags, okay? And I have the gallon size. And the reason that you're gonna wanna make sure that you grab the freezer bags is so that your bags won't burst open or spill over into your freezer because you're gonna have some foods that freeze as liquid as well. I'll be using these little stands to actually put my Ziploc bags in so that I can fill them a little bit easier. Um, I did get these from Amazon. I will definitely have a link to these down in the description box. And if you click the link down in the description box to go to Amazon to purchase these or anything else that you may need, it will definitely help me out because I am a part of the Amazon affiliate program and I'll get a small commission from anything that you purchase on Amazon using my link below. In order to use these stands, it'll come in the packaging just like this. So all you do is raise the sides up for your gallon size bag. You will stick the bag inside and clip the sides of the bag into those little clips. And there you have your bag standing ready for you to just add your ingredients inside. So if you're coming over from Jennifer's channel, Hey Girl, Hey, my name is Brittany. I cover a lot of mommy content, cleaning videos, cooking videos. So if you like that type of content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. So before I begin, I'm just gonna label each Ziploc bag with the date and the name of the dish. And here are the ingredients for country style ribs, a pork rub, liquid smoke, a seasoning salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. Um, sweet baby rays, honey barbecue sauce, and brown sugar. Now I have made this meal before on my channel in a cooking clean with me, um, and I wanted to make it again because it can also be used as a freezer meal. So I'm just going to um, divide up two packages of country style ribs and just layer all of my ingredients in there with the ribs as well as my seasonings. And I try to clean as I'm cooking so I won't have a lot of buildup while I'm preparing my meals. So as you can see, our trash can is filling up behind me. Uh, but that's just because I'm just trying to keep everything clean and put away while I'm cooking. And the trash will be taken out once I am done preparing the meals. Thank you. 
And after I'm done sealing, I'm just going to give this bag a good shake and mix up to make sure all of the seasonings and the sauces are mixed up really good in there with the ribs so that while they're in the freezer, it will marinate and we'll have a bunch of flavor. And on to the next meal, chicken enchiladas. Now for my chicken enchiladas, all I'm using is the red enchilada sauce and chicken breast. The reason I'm only using two ingredients is because I like to put my salsa on the outside of my tortillas when I bake them and top it with cheese. I like my um, enchilada sauce actually inside of the enchiladas mixed in with the chicken. So as you can see, I just added a little garlic powder and onion powder to the mixture before I put my red enchilada sauce in. And I'm just going to seal these bags, give them a shake, and we are gonna keep it moving. Next up, you guessed it, spaghetti. I've made this a couple of times on my YouTube channel, actually. And I'm just showing you here that it can also be used as a freezer meal, but you're just gonna have to pre-cook your meat and then add all of your ingredients. The only ingredients that will not go into the bag are my broccoli and my spaghetti noodles. I will, of course, add those after I have cooked the spaghetti mixture for at least four to six hours in my slow cooker and then I'll add my noodles and my broccoli for an hour afterwards. And last but certainly not least, my taco soup. Now for my taco soup, I'm just using the remainder of my turkey that I used for the spaghetti. I have ranch seasoning, black beans, pinto beans, mild rotel, um, sweet corn, and Philadelphia cream cheese. This dish can also be made with ground beef, ground chicken, or um, shredded chicken as well. I've done it with shredded chicken and ground beef as well as turkey and it tastes amazing all three ways. This is actually a crowd pleaser in my house. My kids love it. My son asks for it at least once a week. So taco soup is something that you can never go wrong with. We normally either eat it on top of a bed of rice or serve it topped with tortilla chips. What you see me doing here is I actually just washed my beans and corn before adding it to the mixture and I also decided to add some seasoning blend as well. So every dish that I have shown you today can be cooked anywhere from four to six hours in your slow cooker, depending on whether you decide to cook it on low setting or high setting. The Instant Pot that I have is not the Instant Pot pressure cooker. It's the Instant Pot multi cooker. So I will be using the slow cooker setting on my multi cooker. I'm really not sure of the time it would take to cook it in the Instant Pot pressure cooker so that's something you could definitely research but i know i'll be using the slow cooker setting depending on when i get these out and thawed out because y'all you know how it is some days so it just depends whether or not i cook it on low or high so guys that's it for today's video if you made it all the way to the end leave me some purple heart emojis down in the comments section also let me know which of these recipes is your favorite and which one do you think you're gonna try for your own family guys and don't forget to stop by jennifer's channel show her some love subscribe to her channel let her know that i sent you thank you guys so much for watching today you guys have a great day